Have you gotten a little bit bored with the traditional square quilt blocks? It's time to expand your horizons and dive into the world of half rectangle triangles with the little bit different collection. These quilt blocks are a stretched version of some classics that have been adapted to a six by nine inch rectangular block instead of a six or 12 inch block that you typically see with quilt samplers. For the month of May 2024, we're making the tall tulip block. And this is a variation of a block that I have seen done in the traditional square format, but I wanted to adapt it for my little bit different collection. That's right. We had so much fun in 2023 playing with stretched quilt blocks that I have developed a new series of quilt blocks and added them to the little bit different collection. So stick around and let's grow our garden of tall tulips. The cutting for this block is very simple. We just have our three colors, our background, I'm using the blue, my flower is going to be this hand dyed purple, and then I've got a plain green for the leaves. And you pair your leaves and your flower with the background and these are going to be our half rectangle triangle units and then we've got our additional pieces because this block is laid out as a nine patch. Half rectangle triangles go in opposite directions and I always imagine moving left to right across my fabric and then I know if I'm going uphill I'm traveling from bottom left to top right, and if I'm going downhill, then I'm traveling from upper left to bottom right. So again, moving across the fabric, it's set up standing tall, so the shorter side of your rectangle is along the bottom, and you imagine your cuts one in each direction. It doesn't matter which is which, the leaves are opposite of the flower color, so whichever way you want to do that, just get them going in different directions. So I will cut these leaves downhill. So again, I want my cut to go from the top left to the bottom right. That makes a downhill cut. And then this other one is going to be uphill. So I reposition my ruler and just make the uphill cut there. Now, when I sew, I need to sew my uh, two fabrics together. So I just make sure they are uh, my opposites there and I just put them right sides together. It's with the hand dies, they're, they're almost identical on both sides. Same with batiks. They make a great choice for half rectangle triangle units because you can use either side so there's less chance of a missed cut. But I want to line them up so that I see these two mountain peaks. That's the key for sewing half rectangle triangles and the le the flower pieces are ready to go so the same thing i've used a solid piece of fabric so it's hard to tell the right side uh, from the wrong side so it looks like we'd be ready to sew on that one but we're not we need to spin that around to actually make the rectangle unit so then when i flip it over i see my two mountain peaks so we want to spin the fabric around first and then flip the right sides together. So my stack of half rectangle triangles are ready to sew. I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam and then press the seams open. My half rectangle triangle units are sewn. I have pressed my seams open and you see that my leaves and my flower fabrics go in 
opposite directions, uphill and downhill. Now we could trim these. I always start with oversized pieces of fabric and I could trim these down to size with my regular ruler, but rectangle angles are not 45 and that 45 degree line on a normal quilting ruler is a little bit distracting. So I had some friends make me a little bit different ruler that's the exact six and a half by nine and a half size that I need for my finished block. And we've put the diagonals on the rectangle so that they are at the correct angle. So I'm gonna use this specially marked corner of my ruler to trim my half rectangle triangle blocks. And this ruler is only available at truebluequilts.com. So if you are having fun with these little bit different blocks, make your life easier and grab a little bit different ruler that makes trimming these half rectangle triangles a breeze. We just line up, oops, didn't get that all the way to the edge. We just line up those markings on the seam line and there are seam allowance lines here showing me the outside of my unit. And it's got this special non-slip coating so it stays right in place on top of my fabric. It's a wonderful benefit about these rulers is that easy grip coating. And then the other diagonal is also marked and these are almost glow in the dark markings. They work really well, no matter if you have uh, dark fabric or light fabric, you can see the lines on your ruler really, really nicely. And I hope I haven't gotten too far out of the frame there on the trying to cut on camera. And there are our four units for the half rectangle pieces. Get that little dog ear out of the way. Line that last edge up. And I said this was a nine patch block. So this is gonna go together really easily. I bring back in my other pieces and I've got a background fabric in the center, or I'm sorry, I'm going the opposite direction here. We want our leaves to form one diagonal. The flower color is going to be in the center. And then we have, looks like I need to cut one more uh, unit there of my background. And that does stay upside down. These two tips of our flower kind of kiss there in the middle and I need to fill in with background squares. So that is our tall tulip block, an easy nine patch. And you can, if you, if you swap the diagonals of these blocks, see they won't kiss that way. You can't uh, make your, your flower tilt the other way, but this the one I showed earlier tilts the opposite direction. So you can have a lot of fun uh, tilting your blocks in different directions across your quilt. Really make those flowers dance and bring your garden to life there. So here are the other two background squares. 
and we are ready to sew our nine patch together. Ta-da! Here is the finished tall tulip. If you would like details about the sizes of fabric I used and more information about the little bit different collection, please visit truebluequilts.com. What else can you do with these tall tulips? Well, make a bunch of blocks. Scrappy would be great and put them in the flower market pattern. This is a digital download that you can find in my online shop. I recently got a sample of this new collection from Island Batique. It's called Reflections, and there are some gorgeous purples in there that just screamed tulips to me. So I put them together in this fun little table runner. So you have lots of options with your quilts. You can make just a few blocks, make some smaller projects, put a bunch of blocks together in a full quilt. I can't wait to see what you make. Those tall tulips were a lot of fun. And if you want some variety in your quilted garden, check out this video next. I have five ways to make floral blocks.